All right, hello guys. I'm going to do a quick unboxing of something. Uh, the video game video, the massive video game pickup video will be happening hopefully soon. I've just been exhausted from work. I come home around 9, 10 o'clock at night. I have to play my uh, MLB The Show game, and then literally I'm falling asleep while playing it. And so I haven't had any, literally, time to to do the bit massive uh, video game pickup video. I'm going to try to do it tonight, which is Monday, and if I can't get it done then, hopefully after my root canal tomorrow, which is my off day, I'll be able to get it done. Because I have a ton of stuff. But recently, and I told you guys I'd do an unboxing of the phone, I, I obviously didn't do it, but I, um, I recently upgraded my Samsung S6 to a Samsung S7 through Verizon, and they had a, a deal where if you upgraded your phone, or if you bought a uh, Samsung S7, you had a choice of two different offers. One was like a little TV, uh, I think, from Samsung, and, and the other was a VR, Gear VR, powered by Oculus. And so I grabbed that, and it just came in the mail yesterday or two days ago. Um, so let me show you the box here. It's Samsung Gear VR, compatible with Note 5, S6 Edge Plus, S6, S6 Edge, S7, and S7 Edge. Check compatibility of Samsung phones on Samsung.com. This is what it looks like. Okay, then on the back here, uh, cinematic wide view, immersive 360 degree, degree experience, realistic VR game. So you can enjoy 2D, 3D contents, play VR games, explore tourist attractions virtually with an immersive 360 degree panoramic view. Experience Gear VR now. Gear VR requires a Samsung Galaxy Note 5, S6 Edge Plus, S6 or S6 Edge, S7, S7 Edge. Gear VR cannot be operated by itself. Download VR apps from the Oculus Store. For more information on your device, please visit the Samsung website at www.samsung.com. The actual device, including its color, may vary slightly from the printed images. Um, Note 5, S6 Edge Plus may require a software update. And you have a health and safety warning. Uh, read and follow all warnings and instructions included with Gear VR before use. Gear VR should be adjusted for each user, not for use by children under 13. Remain seated or stationary when using Gear VR. Stop use if you experience any discomfort for, or health reactions. More at Oculus.com slash warnings. Do not wear this product without a phone attached. Exposure of the device's lens to direct sunlight may cause damage to your Gear VR and its surroundings and present a fire hazard. So that's that. And uh, it's pretty much this. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to open this up as best we can. We go like that with the phone, with the camera. There's tape here. Let's see if I can. I don't want to break this pencil. Oh man, I didn't come prepared. It's early in the morning here. So. Before I go to work, I figured I'd try to get, at least get this done, and sure enough, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Well, I'm going to try the pencil, hopefully it doesn't break off. Oh, good. Got that done. Is there any other tape? Yep, right over here. There we go. Well, maybe not. There we go. Okay. So we're gonna open this up like so. And there's like a plastic tray. It's white. So you got your getting started guide, warranty guide. Health, safety, and warranty guide. Getting started. Uh, you'd figure that this would be like in plastic or something, but apparently not. Let me take that out. So this is what the Gear VR headset looks like. There's tape on the front here. Gear VR Oculus. 
and I assume and then this thing comes out like so. I don't know what that does really. Put it on my head. There's a strap. This is probably what this is. Right here. I assume this is the strap. Yeah. So it goes around your head. Yeah, that's exactly what this is looking at the picture. And oh, we got one more thing. Got this. And it that's it. So you got your headset, you got your straps, you got I assume more straps, maybe for adjustable straps. And that's pretty much the drill, folks. That's the uh, unboxing of the Samsung Gear VR Oculus, powered by Oculus headset for my phone. And um, a lot of people have asked me, am I going to get an Oculus Rift, or what do I feel about it? I have no idea. I don't even know what this, like, I want to see how this is. Now, I know the Oculus Rift has is, is nothing to do with this, obviously, as far as the, the, the difference. I mean, it's no, no, um, no comparison. What I will be getting most likely, though, no matter what, is a PlayStation VR, and I know it's going to be the underpowered version of the Oculus. As far as Oculus and, and HTC Vive are supposedly the top front runners, and then PlayStation VR will be right under there. But for an affordability uh, standpoint and the value of what I see, I mean, let's put it this way: if the PlayStation VR was the same price as the Oculus Rift, I'd get the Oculus Rift. Uh, but you have to buy a gaming PC for that and the whole drill. And at least with the PlayStation VR, it'll be less money, and it and it's something I'm going to use anyway with the PlayStation. So, and there'll be a lot of AAA games for the, for the uh, PlayStation VR. Um, so, that's that. Uh, stay tuned for my uh, stay tuned for my video game pickup video. Uh, it is a massive one. It is probably the biggest I've ever had. I've been to a thousand million stores, eBay as well. So, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time, guys.